Hey guys, welcome back to Rootset. In this post, I will show you how you can make your own 5V to 3.3V logic level converter for connecting 5V sensors to a new Arduino board or Raspberry Pi boards. Why do we need a logic level converter? Most of us love playing with Arduino or Raspberry Pi during free time, right? Of course, that's what we do. Along with Arduino, we will definitely use various sensors such as IR sensors, PAR sensors and ultrasonic sensors. But the problem is, most of today's boards are not 5V tolerant and almost all of the boards works under 3.3V. Does that mean we can't use our old sensors anymore? Not exactly. Almost all of our microcontrollers works under 3.3V logic these days. Most of these devices that works under 3.3V do not like being provided with 5V and will get burned in seconds. So what can we do about it? Luckily, there is a way. There are various logic level shifters that will convert 5V to 3.3V. One such IC is 74LVC245. This chip solves the problem of connecting and sending data from 5V logic level devices to a 3.3V logic microcontroller such as Arduino. This chip stands in between Arduino and the sensors and convert 5V signals from the sensors to 3.3V which can be directly fed to Arduino. This chip can be used with various digital signals and works great with SPI, serial and parallel bus and with other logic interfaces. Surface mount technology is the technique of assembling PCBs by mounting the components on the surface of the board. Unlike the traditional method of placing the components through the holes and soldering them on the other side, in SMT, the components are placed over the board and the leads are soldered on the same side. JLC PCB is one of the best online PCB manufacturing companies from where you can order PCBs online without any hassle. The company works 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, non-stop. With their high-tech machinery and automated work stream, they can manufacture huge quantities of high-class assembled PCBs within hours. Now let us design the circuit. You can easily go to ECEDA website and start a new project. Once you have opened new canvas, start adding components. You can see the complete list of components which can be used for PCB assembly here. Working with this IC is pretty simple. You can set up the circuit in a matter of minutes. Simply connect VCC to your logic level you want to convert to. In this case, we will be converting 5V to 3.3V. So we will be connecting 3.3V to VCC. Now ground pin connects to ground. OE pin or output enabled pin to ground to enable the chip. And finally, DAR pin to VCC or 3.3V. Once you have finished drawing the circuit, you can create PCB layout. So this is the PCB layout of the circuit. We can now download the Gerber file, the CPL file and the BOM file for PCB manufacturing and assembly. You will find all the codes, schematics and all the files and related links in the description below. Guys, before going further, if you find this video useful, consider supporting my channel by giving this video a like and subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below. I would really appreciate it. Now go to JLC PCB website and create a free account. You can also register and log in using Google account. Once you have successfully created an account, click on code now and upload your Gerber file. Once the Gerber file is uploaded, it will show you a preview of your circuit board. Make sure that this is the PCB layout of the board you want. Below the PCB preview, you will see so many options such as PCB quantity, texture, thickness and color. Now go to the bottom of the page and click on Assemble your PCB boards. Now you will have to upload the BOM and CPL file that we downloaded earlier. Select all the components you want JLC PCB to assemble in your PCB. Simply click on the confirm box and select the components. In this page, you can review your order. You can check the layout, see all the components and if there is any problem, you can click on go back and edit your order. That's it guys, it's done. The PCB will be manufactured and shipped within days and will be delivered to your doorstep within the mentioned time period. Now let's check out the assembled PCBs. Ok, these are the assembled boards, neat and clean. Once you get the board, you can take one and solder the remaining components onto it. I have soldered the header pins and this is the finished board. This 8 pin provides steady 5V and this 8 pin provides 3.3V and these 8 pins are the ground pins. Now let us test the board. Now if you connect 5V signals at A pins, you will get 3.3V at corresponding B pins. 
we will see that by connecting a 5 volt in at A1 and 0 volt in A5. So this should give 3.3 volt out at B1 and 0 volt at B5. As you can see here, we are getting the expected outputs. Our logic level converter is now ready. You can use this board with Arduino or Raspberry Pi. 